Hello. I hope you're having a good day. And if not, I sure hope your day gets better. Do you know there's nothing that Jesus cannot do except one thing? He cannot lie. If he promised to forgive you your sins, he will forgive you your sins. If he promised, whatever he promises, whatever he says, he will do it. He cannot lie. He died on that cross so he could forgive us of our sins. He died on that cross because he wants you to be with him in paradise and not with the devil in hell. Everybody has a choice. Everybody has a mind to choose. And you can keep being in your sins because if you die in your sins, you stay in your sins. You do not get forgiven of your sins after you die. Everybody has a choice to be with he uh, Jesus in heaven in paradise or to be with the devil in torment in hell. There's only one option, but there's two choices. You get to choose one or the other is what I mean. Jesus wants you to choose him. He wants you to come to him. He wants to forgive you of your sins. He wants to make life better for you than it ever has been. He, he will love you more than anybody on this earth ever can, ever could, ever will. He is the best thing ever. He forgave me of my sins, and I, I have never, I have been happier ever since he has. Since he forgave me of my sins, I have been happier than I've ever been in my life. I am 60 years old. I'll be 61 this year. And the last few years since he forgave me of my sins, I have known real joy, real peace, real love like I've never known in my life before. I thought I knew love, but not until Jesus got a hold of me did I actually know real true love. I love him so much. I love him so much it makes me cry. I cry so much just because I love him so much and I want to be with him and I want to hug him and I just want to grab a hold and never let go of him. And you can be that way too. All you have to do is to believe in him, ask forgiveness of your sins, and when he forgives you, and not sin no more. You cannot be forgiven of your sins and then think you're still going to sin. You know, he doesn't, that's not the way it works. You have to sacrifice. That's what he means, take up your cross is what I think that means. Do not sin, live for him, and put your past behind you. But when he forgives you your sins, you don't want to sin anymore. It, it, it's like appalling to me. It just... It, it's so bad now, what I did. Things I used to love, I hate. I can't stand them now. I don't want to do it no more. I don't want nothing to do with it. I don't want to, people that I used to, I never had friends, but a couple of people that I was friends with, that there's so much negativity that it, it actually sometimes is physical. It feels like physical pain. I just, it hurts to hear all that negativity. Because I used to be so negative. I mean, I used to be called Negative Nancy. I called myself Negative Nancy. Debbie Downer, all that stuff. And I'm not talking about them names. It's just because they rhymed. and I was silly like that. But I don't want to be negative no more. It, it's just, it's painful. There's so much, and, and anxiety and fear. I was consumed with it for almost every bit of my life. I was put on nerve medicine at five years old. And he healed me of that. And when he... Ever since I've been healed of it, it's amazing. And it took me so long to learn how to just live and act and do things. Not, I mean, because I was always in a panic attack just about, or waiting for one to happen, or knew things that would make it happen. And now things would happen that would throw me into a panic attack, and it don't. And it was just, I had to learn how to live without it. And it's amazing. It is amazing. Jesus loves you. He wants to forgive you of your sins. He wants to rid you of depression, of fear, anxiety. All the bad negative stuff. He wants to get rid of that. He washes it away from you. And he makes life so much better. He wants you to come to him. He wants you to serve him. He wants. He did not die a horrific death on that cross to forgive us of our sins to not do it. If you're sick in your body, he can heal you. By his stripes, ye were healed. And by his stripes, we are healed. And I may be saying that a little wrong because I'm not the best at remembering everything. But... I do know that he died and he went through a horrible, horrific death so he could forgive us of our sins, so he could give us what he wanted to, to give us. He wants to give us paradise with him. He doesn't want us to go to hell with the devil. Hell was not designed for humans. It was designed, designed for Satan and his angels. But people won't quit sinning, so they have to go to hell. You cannot be a sinner and think you're going to make it into heaven because you cannot sin. They do not want you to sin. God does not want you to sin.
He wants you to come to him. He wants you to be forgiven of your sins, and he wants you to live with him. And he wants to give you great and amazing things. And I'm not saying once you are forgiven of your sins, your life will be perfect, because it won't. But the things that happen, at least you have backup right there and right there. I mean, you go through trials. Things happen, but it's so much better when you have Jesus to be there and help you through it. I mean, I just, I feel like I can't say the words good enough to get you to understand how great it is. Things are bad, but even if they're bad, they're still so much better with Jesus than they were without Jesus. I hope you can understand something I say. I, I want you to come to him. I want you to experience joy unspeakable, love unspeakable, happiness unspeakable. I mean, I, it's just amazing. And I know I sound like a broken record, but I, I can't help it. I don't know what else to do. I want to say great things and... I want you to experience how great Jesus can be is what I want. I want you to be forgiven your sins, and I want you to make it into paradise with Jesus because it will be unspeakable joy and happiness and everything else. I hope you have a good and blessed day. I hope you can come to Jesus, and I hope you do have a great day. I hope God blesses you, and I love each and every one of you, and I'm thankful for you for taking your time out of your day to watch me. Have a good day. God bless you.